packs, day two, that's a wrap for us anyway. At least for the floor. It's on to party and for us the hardest part. We're old. But for you guys, let's talk about what we saw today, what was cool. Mm. The very first thing right off the bat, we were at Adult Swim's booth and uh, we got to do a private appointment for Battleship Brigade. That game's yeah. fun. Yeah, Jazz, uh, you played it. Tell mm -hmm. us about it. Dude, yeah. it's Iron Chef. Yeah. Iron Chef, what, what is it, Odin Sphere? Uh, I don't know. It's yeah, a, yeah, Odin Sphere style combat, yeah. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And it's, it's uh, got a, uh, a uh, match three element to it, right? There's three elements, you actually go out, you kill the food, right. you kill the monsters, right. you bring back the food, you cook with them, and you just keep making all these uh But the cooking is the match three elements, so yeah. then yeah. It, it turns from a side-scroller fighting game to this cooking game that plays on a match three, like a... You know, like, uh, what, what game would you say? I want to say Tetris, but not Tetris. Uh, I mean, like, it's Dr. Like Dr. Robotnik's, like Dr. Mario. Dr. Yeah. Robotnik's mean bean machine. There um, you go. There, but, there you go. So the way the, the way that it works is, like, each food item has uh, up to four gems attached to it that you drop into this kind of Tetris style. And then after they're in the space, you then get to shuffle them around to try and match and them And that's together. actual cooking. Yep. You throw the ingredients in, then when you cook, that's when you rotate the stuff. And depending on how well you do on the match three game, mm -hmm. that's how well your dish turns out. It's very true. Yeah. It's a it's a beautiful game, and I'm really enjoying it. And also, just, just the fact that it's a whole kitchen coliseum. They make fun of Iron Chef. Yep. yep. I am in it. Iron Chef makes fun of Iron Chef. And it's all uh, hand-drawn art, too. Right? Yes, yeah. It's very, very big. Uh, so, uh, as for Battleship Brigade, we actually used our direct capture device and we actually managed to record all like 27 minutes of the demo or something. Yeah. So I'm going to edit that together and see how good the microphone sounds. If it sounds good enough, we might just put that up as like a Let's Play yeah. uh, live on the PAX show floor. Yeah. So, um, I know I've probably been showing you guys some footage of that game right now. If you want to see the full Let's Play, be sure to check that out. It's probably up by the time you're seeing this vlog. There's uh, probably a link. Somewhere. That, somewhere around there. On my nose. Up your butt. What's it doing up there, buddy? Bus stuff. Moving on! Beyond uh, Battle Chef Brigade, we also checked out Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Oh yeah, we played a four player with two randos. Yeah. But it's a ton of fun, right? The game's so good and the- Ash was like a little kid in a candy shop. And you can choose from like that. 16 different characters. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, I love the fact that they have regular Earl and old school Earl, regular Toe Jam, old school Toe Jam. Earl's um, mom. Yeah, I love the fact that they have- uh, Leticia, is that her name? She's yeah, Leticia. It? from Toe Jam 3, which everyone hates, but I still have, <laughs> have some sort of, you know, fondness for. Um, but I, I love the fact that, like, Hyperfunk Zone, which was the minigame from Toe Jam 2, mm -hmm. is in this game, as well as whatever the minigame was from Toe Jam 1 is apparently in the game as well, it's just not in this build that we played. Hmm. Um, it's the one where you dance. No, 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 no. That's, that's just something that you do with a the character. Oh. There is there is a whole other mini game that takes you to, like, a whole different screen. Oh. Um, I forget what they called it, though. The balloon stage. Exactly. Anyway. <laughs> but gotta, it's four player and it's going to have online, so you better got, believe we're going to play it on the I channel. I got a new pin as well. Ash oh, yeah. Was, Ash was so excited. He started yeah. freaking out. He was like, gimme, 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 gimme. If we were less honest people, we could have gotten two pins each. That's right. Because you guys gave us pins, and then when we got done playing, they were like, oh, here's a pin. We were like, no, no. <coughs> we are honest. Uh, I know that we all probably did Indie Mega Booth today. Mm -hmm. A little bit. So a little there's bit. a ton of stuff that we could talk about in there. So let's let's talk about like our highlights. What's our favorite? Oh, actually, when I was at the Indie Mega Booth, I actually played uh, Hot Lava. I yeah, forgot about that. The clay mm -hmm. game, right? Yeah, it's it's great. It's um, it's basically what it is. You play Hot Lava. Yep. You're the a person lava. who like takes on the uh, like persona of a superhero. And then you just start jumping from platform to platform, right. and then like the floor is literally. But lava. like you're in a house, and yeah. the yeah. floor is lava. Like and so the like, game you played as a child. At the beginning, it's like you're at a work desk and you're getting like frustrated. And you just start bashing your computer and just throwing it out, and you pick it up and you start moving. And you start jump like jumping from platform to platform, and they teach you how to do it really well. The movement is very fluid, so mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're like getting like it doesn't feel janky. Yeah. It feels very like, you know, when you grab a bar, you actually swing and then you have to time it. Kind of like um, Mirror's Edge. It's yeah, like Mirror's exactly. Edge. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, the floor, like if you fall in it, it's like, ah, it burns. But but they were playing it multiplayer. Like you can actually see oh. other yeah. people Yeah, doing they had it. like, I think six computers all rigged up through LAN that they were playing yeah. with each other. 
Yeah. But it's going to have online as well Fantastic. as uh, land. So abilities. what's the on or the multiplayer element? Is it like a timed kind of trial? Like he made it sound like it's like more like communal focus. Like you're helping each other solve really? your own puzzles. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So what was your game at the end of Mega Booth? Uh, the game that I really liked that I hadn't seen much on before is actually one that is coming out very soon apparently um, called Figment and it is a um, sort of a Zelda like uh, you know sort of like Swords of Ditto is as well um, but the whole concept of this one is it takes place in uh, someone's subconscious mind huh. and you play the character of Dust who represents um, bravery like this person's bravery and uh, this person hasn't been brave for a very long time uh, and so Dust is kind of like you know, has you know, kind of dust off his rustiness, uh, if you will, mm. and um, but now it's like he needs his bravery back. He needs to you know solve the problems inside of his mind, and so it's like you're fighting back nightmares and like the darkness mm. and fear and all this kind of stuff in your mind. And Zus's oh. best friend that follows him around is um, this character's positivity, and so it's like it's always it's kind of like Navi, but it's like always saying great things, like always being very nice to you. But like the visual style is very much like um, surrealist. It looks a lot like a Dali painting. Oh. So it's like there'll be a windmill, but the actual windmill part is actually a dragonfly that like rotates around, and like, okay. all the bridges are like upside down caterpillars, and it's That's just cool. it's visually just so incredible. And it comes out in like two or three weeks, I think. Awesome. So really looking forward to that one. Figment. You? Um, I really am intrigued by uh, I think you two trail makers yeah uh, this is a game we actually got an email like the day before we left for PAX <laughs> about this game and immediately I was like oh it looks like scrap mechanic and it, it is I mean whereas in scrap mechanic there are building elements where you sort of build houses and stuff too which is kind of irrelevant to the game if you ask me this game it really focuses on building vehicles to achieve specific objectives in their campaign. And I think the the biggest takeaway is imagine scrap mechanic but with physics. Like you're it's very much meant to be like if you knock into something, bits of your your thing is supposed to, to break off. Right. Oh, so like collision because it doesn't say like yeah. scrap mechanic has physics. It, it has it has yeah. some yeah, I mean it has physics, but it has like this like your stuff is supposed to be able to break apart and if anything takes too much damage then I think your engine explodes and literally the whole car oh, yeah. will wow. explode apart. And there's actually a single player campaign and it's gonna release uh, later this year early access. When it does it'll have multiplayer but the multiplayer is just sort of sandbox just sort of build and explore. <laughs> The campaign, though, there's actually going to be specific objectives. So you're on an expedition trying to get from like point A to point B, and you're going to have roadblocks that you'll come across that you'll need to be very inventive and build different vehicles in order to, uh, you know, overcome these barriers. Yeah, because it's, cool. it's not just like like cars. They they showed off like these cool plane uh, vehicles as well. Right. So um, yeah, I, I I like the direction it's going, and I'm excited to play it multiplayer. So that was a new Mega Booth. There was certainly a lot of other stuff as well, but uh, those were the highlights, I think. Yeah. And cool. then after that, what happened? We had our big stumped fan meetup. Mm hmm. That was really fun. It, it was, was a ton of, a lot fun. of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was like 15 or 20 kids and then parents and stuff like that. We uh, played some more Super Smash Bros. 8 player. We played some more 4 player Pac Man. We did it again this year at GameWorks Seattle. Um, and then we spent all of our money uh, on credits to mm -hmm. buy tickets for I Wish I Had It With Me. Uh, like disgusting, squishy bears. You, you have to cut to a, an image of it at least, something. <laughs> Disgusting squishy bears is what I, I tried to sell. The uh, kids excuse on. me, disgusting squishy light up bears. Yes. Yeah, I was like, that is a blinking tumor, and it's had what is this? It's, it's this pretty gross. It's, a, it's, a, it's so weird. It's a, it's a gross little thing. <laughs> but we won twenty six hundred tickets playing this awesome little missile launching game, which has I, been there for the last three years. I really should get footage of it at some point. It's the best ticket. It's so game, good uh, in the world. It's really uh, difficult to explain, so I'm not going to try to. But uh, we were able to. Send everybody home with treats. Everybody was able to. And spend most people kids. went home with a disgusting, squishy lineup. Most yeah. people who knew what they were doing. <laughs> a lot of kids just getting candy, though. I'll tell you, I don't know how the parents felt about us sending home with a bunch of candy, but a lot of candy. One kid, one of the littlest kids, uh, just got oh. a pack of cards. Yeah. I was like, two, practical. Two yeah. kids got cards. As That's, smart. Fact. That's smart. That's smart. As a matter of fact, to the two of you out there, well done. I want to say a shout out to Trinity for hooking me up with this. Uh, oh, dude, yeah. I chew and then. Don't, uh, don't do it yet, because that's really chewy. Also, you are not going to be able to continue. Also, to talk. Ashley. 
for hooking me up with this uh, warhead. You can't tell Rick what to do. I know I can't. I'm a wild card. Beyond all that, uh, later tonight we've got the Polaris party. There's also another party potentially with uh, something games for their SOS game. Um, I can't remember the name of the developer. Um, anyway. Oh, is this the rooftop party? The rooftop party. Mm -hmm. um, Last night was the uh, YouTube, party? YouTube party, which was a blast. You guys a saw blast. a little bit of footage of that, but that was that was a really killer cool, cool party. We bowled. We, we bowled. did bowl. That was mm. fun. Um, it's been a while since we bowled. Really, just nonstop parties at PAX, which is one of the funnest parts about coming out here. And it's also um, one of the most exhausting parts about coming out here. Absolutely. <laughs> it also makes editing these things a nightmare because I tend to do it. After. Ash doesn't sleep. Yeah. Um, with that, that's been PAX Day 2. I hope you guys are digging some of the footage of this. Um, hopefully we can get some more uh, cool footage for you guys to see. Maybe even potentially some more uh, like live lists cool. on the floor. Because um, I think that's a really cool thing. Um, but now we better get inside before the bugs beat us to death. <laughs> oh, it scared me. <laughs> with that, that's where I call it. I'm probably going to leave you guys like I did last time with some footage of the Polaris party. Have yourselves a good one. We've been stumped. Joined by Ash, Price, Rick, Jasmine. Catch you all next time. Bye! Bye.